Now, the 14 principles of management, it's important to note that they are applicable even today in modern organizations. And the principles are statements, statements based on fundamental truths. Fundamental truth. These principles are important because they serve or act as guidelines. They serve as guidelines to the decisions of managers. To the decisions of managers. So when a manager is making a decision, he's guided, or that decision is going to be based on the 14 principles. Now, we will first list, list the 14 principles according to Henry Fion, and then we will discuss them one by one. According to Fion, the first principle is division of labor. Division of labor. The second one is authority and responsibility. The third one is discipline. The fourth one <coughs> is unity of command. followed by unity of direction six is subordination subordinate subordination subordinate subordination of personal interests to group interest to group interest seven centralization and decentralization Uh, eight, order, nine, remuneration, ten, initiative, or we'll continue. So that number 11 are uh, 11, A, that is order, remuneration, equity, 12, scalar chain, 13, Esprit de Corps, and the last principle is security of tenor, security of tenor. Now, our uh, file goes ahead to describe each of these principles and their relevance in the practice of management. And this is what he says about each of these principles. He observes that in, an, in any organization, 
there should be the practice of division of labor. He agrees that in every organization it is possible to easily identify a specific tasks and the corresponding knowledge and competence required to execute those tasks is of the view that the tasks of the organization the work of the organization should be divided and allow employees to work in those activities that they are most competent in that way or by specializing employees are going to become efficient and efficiency improves productivity he also identifies the principle of authority and responsibility and according to file our bosses and managers need to have the power to give orders to give instructions and demand that those orders and instructions be executed for managers to get their work done they must have certain amount or level of authority and that authority will lead to compliance by the people they lead he also recognizes the fact that with authority comes responsibility and he believes that for a manager to be efficient and effective the level of authority must correspond to the level of responsibility he goes further to say if authority and responsibility are not balanced so that authority is less the manager will be frustrated and if authority is excessive than the responsibility the manager may abuse the authority he identifies discipline as the third principle and discipline is obedience it is the respect for rules and regulations of the organization in order to have predictable and consistent behavior there needs to be a code of the ethics there need to be a set of rules and regulations to define how employees are expected to behave and conduct themselves he however notes so that discipline is of two kinds self instilled discipline or forced discipline he argues that uh, an organization should allow the self instilled discipline to prevail but if people violate rules and regulations then they should be forced to comply through instilled discipline again he identifies a fourth principle which he calls unity of command and unity of command means that a subordinate should only receive orders and instructions from one superior and they should report back to the same superior or better known as one man one superior the essence of this principle is mm. according to file if that were not to be the case so that an individual employee is answerable to two or more bosses then he says there would be disorder principle number 5 is unity of direction and under unity of direction all activities that are aimed at the same objective they should have one plan and they should be put under one manager and it is that one manager who should direct all those activities and develop a plan for them uh principle number 6 is subordination of personal interests to group interests a argues that in an organization there will be all manner of in, man of interest and particularly there will be individual employee interests and there will the, be the overall company organizational interests he argues that 
for the employees to work and perform as to the expectations. They need to keep their interests secondary to the overall interest of the organization so that the overall company interest or group interest should be given prominence over the individual interests of employees. He also observes the, or comes up with the principle of centralization and decentralization. And this describes how close employees are to the decision-making points. And according to file, an organization is going to choose from either being centralized or decentralized depending on the circumstances of the case because organizations are different. Some are big, some are small, some involved in complex activities, others are involved in routine activities. However, you observed that the two, there should be a proper balance uh, between the two. Again, he observes order as the next principle and according to file order is the need to have everything in its rightful place he observes two types of order material order and social order and according to him material order is items materials and resources tools must be in their appointed place at the appointed time. So that as an employee, you are able to trace what you're looking for. The layout of the factory is such that the warehouse is at the proximity of the processing plant. This is order. It saves on time, it saves on fatigue, uh, fatigue and a lot of unnecessary effort. People order is that People should occupy positions that they should so occupy. People should jo do jobs that they are capable of doing, that they understand and which they are trained in. He also identifies remuneration, and remuneration is about rewards or pay. He argues that employees need to be motivated and that the amount of remuneration should be fair to both the employee and the employer. He identifies initiative. Initiative is giving employees the freedom to uh, put together plans and execute them freely without interference. This, of course, promotes creativity and innovation, which is useful for the organization. Another principle is equity, and according to file, there should be equal and fair treatment to all employees, and there should be no discrimination whatsoever on whatever grounds. Again, he observes that there is need for a scalar chain. A scalar chain is the flow of authority and responsibility. And he says that there should be clear lines of authority from the top to be the bottom of the organization. The importance of this is that people understand their relationships in an organization. Employees know who their boss is, and the bosses clearly understand who their subordinates are. This is useful for purposes of coordination as well as the ease in communication processes. The other principle is esprit de corps, which is French for team spirit. And according to file, employees should forge unity and they should be willing to work as a team because there is strength in collectivity. And the last principle is security of tenor. Security of tenor is job security. And file makes an interesting ob uh, observation that the organizations should try to minimize 
employee turnover as much as possible. Why? Organizations use a lot of resources to train new employees. At a time when they are less productive because they do not have a good understanding of the job. It is therefore defeats logic after having trained an employee and they have now started becoming efficient, they leave the organization. According to File, this must be discouraged. And the best way he proposes that after employees have learned the job, they need to be made permanent. And that way, the organization is able to benefit from now the now efficient employees in the organization. Uh, these are the 14 principles, according to Henry File, which we value them and respect them a lot because managers today do what they do, guided by most or all of these uh, 14 principles. Thank <music> you.